Hey guys, how are you? It's me, Carrie. I am experimenting with a new way to record, so you guys give me some feedback. Let me know if this seems like it's working out better or worse. I'm actually using my really old Samsung Galaxy phone to try to record, which I guess is a step up over a point-and-shoot camera. But anyway, I hope this works out well. We'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Today, I have some Revos. Yay! They are probably my favorite brand of lip balm along with Lip Smackers and the kind people at Aura Labs, the makers of Revo and Shop Ice, were kind enough to send me these to review for you guys. I will probably also have a companion piece on my blog, which you can find at www.butterflieslanding at blogspot.com. Excuse me, dot blog. Okay, let me try that again. www.butterflieslanding. It's B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y-S-L-A-N-D-I-N-G dot blogspot dot com. I will post a link in the Dropbox as well. But anyway, I figured for the first time I would do a Revo review on my YouTube channel for you guys. So these are the wonderful ones that they sent me. This one is part of the Well at Walgreens line. And I might have mentioned this before. I think I did in my Revo collection video. What I do, because I will never remember the names of these guys without it, is I buy these little stickers at the office supply store or Walmart or Target, and I write the name of the flavors on the bottom. Because a lot of times, especially with Revos, they'll do duplicate designs, duplicate colors on the packaging. So it's easier, to, easier for me to keep track if I write the names on the bottom, especially because I have quite a few in my collection now. But anyway, this is Wild Cherry from the Well at Walgreens line. Let me give you guys a look at the nice bright red color. Let me give you a little swatch here. It does have a little bit of red color payoff, which is very cool. And it has a fabulous scent. I would say this reminds me of cherry candy. Really, really tasty. Next up, from the Chap Ice Sprint line of Revos, we have Pineapple Banana. Now, the only place I have seen this one so far is in Five Below. It is a very pretty lemony yellow color, probably clear. Yes, it does come out clear. And I'm actually, I'm smelling it. I actually am getting quite a nice blend of the pineapple and banana scents. It's amazing. They really did capture both of those scents perfectly. Third up, another Chap Ice Revo. This one is Tropical Coconut. And again, the only place I've seen this one is at Five Below. It is. Ooh, it's blue. See, I expected this one to be white. That is gorgeous. That is actually my very favorite color, sky blue. It does not have any color. It comes out completely clear. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. It almost has a tiny hint of pineapple to it, as well as the coconut. It's like, reminds me of a pina colada smell, but the coconut is definitely more prominent. Fabulous scent. And now these three babies over here, we have blue raspberry, grape, and tangerine. And I've also seen these sold at Five Below in a three pack for $3, I believe. So works out the same as if you buy your Revo minis at the Dollar Tree where they're a dollar piece. But I've only seen these three fragrances at Five Below. Let me show you what they look like. Again, a beautiful blue color similar to the coconut. Comes out completely clear when you swatch it. This, for some reason, it has a really nice scent. It reminds me of the Blue Raspberry Slush Puppy scent, but it's not very strong. So I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping the scent would be a little stronger, but it's a great scent nonetheless. Next up, we have Grape. And the Grape is just a very light purple in color. Again, swatch is clear. Oh, that's a nice deep grape scent. It reminds me of Welch's grape soda, which I don't drink all that often anymore. I try to avoid soda as much as I can. And when I do, I tend to drink diet. But when I want to give myself a treat, a soda treat, I do tend to go for the Welch's grape. Weird random story. When I go to New York City, I live on Long Island and I'll take the Long Island Railroad and I used to go get into Penn Station, and almost every trip home, there was this one little bodega stand in the station that had Welch's grape soda. And my mom and I, if we traveled to the city together, would always get a grape soda there. They've since closed that stand, unfortunately, but 
I don't know, that just sends memory, that scent just completely brought me back to that random story. Anyway, last but not least, we have tangerine. Very pretty, light orange, almost peachy color. Swatch is clear. Yeah, that's a really nice scent too. It's definitely citrusy. I wouldn't necessarily pick tangerine immediately. Like if I were to smell this not knowing this fragrance, I wouldn't necessarily call it tangerine, but it smells fantastic. So anyway, guys, these are the six Revos that the people at Orlips were kind enough to send me to review. Let me know which one you think you would like the best. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more lip balms, please give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit subscribe if you like what you see. I would love to have you here for more fun. I will be featuring other videos besides Lip Balm at some point because I do collect lots of fun things and I'd like to kind of start shooting some fun collection videos too. But anyway, the next video up is probably going to be another Lip Balm one because right up here above this little box, I have, there's a sneak peek, I have a set of Lip Balms that I received from my friend Jen for my birthday a few weeks ago and I am dying to share them with you guys. I have yet to open the box so I'm super excited to swatch and smell them on camera with you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. Please let me know what you think about this new camera style. I'm actually thinking it's going to work out a little bit better. And I have the help of a little friend back here, my peekaboo phone guy from Ty. Here he is. That was also a gift from a friend for my birthday. This was from my friend Paula. I actually kind of used him to lean my camera up, my phone up against to get this video. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.